Welcome to this installment in the Excite Pro tutorial series. As your sites grow in size and complexity, it's likely that you're going to have to set up redirects as a general housekeeping measure. Redirecting users is just what it sounds like. They enter a URL and you take them to a different one, either immediately or after a delay. When might you use this? First, to hide a lengthy or unattractive URL. After all, which URL is easier to remember? This one? or this one. Possibly you would use one to link to an affiliate site without having to display all the ugly code in the URL that goes along with tracking affiliates. Or perhaps for when a page might change. For example, if you have the aforementioned February specials page and it's now March, you can quickly redirect the user to the current specials. Or for the purposes of ad tracking. If you have two banners, you can set two URLs, both of which redirect to your home page, and you can now track which banner gets more clicks. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to redirect from a now defunct special offer page to the current one. To get started, go to the Other tab, and then click Redirect Pages. The Redirect Pages dialog appears. As you can see, I already have a few redirects already set up which we could either edit or delete here. But let us set up a new one by clicking Add. We had formerly run a special on refurbished Apple iPods, which we made available to our mailing list readers via a special link. The offer is now over, so let's expire this link and point them to the page that lists all our current specials. Under Page Name, we'll name the redirect to match the file name of the original offer page. Our defunct offer's file name was iPodRefurb.html, so we'll title our redirect iPodRefurb. The reason we do that is because Excite Pro uses that redirect name to determine the actual file name for the redirect. With our redirect having the same file name as our original offer, the redirect will effectively overwrite our defunct offer page, which is exactly what we want to happen. Of course, do keep in mind that you will need to have already filled out the publishing details of your site, otherwise the URL won't be correct. And we'll set a redirect delay of 10 seconds, just long enough to read the message we'll insert for them. Under Redirect URL, we simply navigate to the current specials page. If the redirect lies outside your site, just type or paste in the URL here. It's important to include a brief note, especially for affiliate and ad tracking redirects where the reason behind the redirect won't necessarily be apparent from the designer content. As you add new redirects, you want to be able to tell at a glance what they're all for, even years after creating them. Here in the designer, Insert a message for the user telling them that this offer is expired, but hey, we've got lots of really great special offers that are still valid, and you'll be redirected to those offers in just a moment. Even for instant redirects without any delay, it's generally wise to insert a bit of text here. While rare, it occasionally happens that someone will get stuck on this page without being redirected. Going along with this, I tend to insert a clickable link which takes them to the target URL, just in case. At the bottom of the window, once again, we can see a read-only preview of the URL which this particular redirect will have once published. This is a particularly useful reminder if you are using the redirect tool to mask an affiliate link. It'd be this URL that you'd want to mail to your list, so they get passed on through to your affiliate link if they clicked on it. Whether covering up an ugly URL, tracking your ad banners, or hurting users away from defunct pages, redirects are an amazing tool in your arsenal, and Excite Pro makes them child's play.